Like animals need to stay cool during the summer too. With that, let's head out to Reed Park Zoo with Dead, uh, Jed Dodds for the latest today and today's zoo for you. It's getting hot here in the old Pueblo and here at Reed Park Zoo, we've got a lot of unique ways of being able to cool the animals down. And one of them is with our anteaters. We're here with Laura, our uh, animal supervisor, talking about anteaters and you guys have kind of a unique way to cool the anteaters down. We do. So one of the anteaters favorite things to do is actually take a bath. Um, you wouldn't necessarily think about it because they are terrestrial, which means they mostly live on land. Um, but one of their way favorite ways to stay cool and actually groom themselves is by getting in a, a tub full of water. I mean, this is one of my most favorite things to be able to watch is an anteater in the bathtub. And again, it's not really an animal you would think that would like to get into the water. We think of rhinos in mud, we think of elephants in a pool, but an anteater, is this a kind of a normal behavior for them? It is. So where they're found um, originally in South America, there are a lot of river and stream systems. And so they will actually uh, defecate or go to the bathroom in water to mask their scent and make them kind of less noticeable to predators. Um, but in doing so, they also spend time in the water to groom, bathe, and cool off. Yeah, one of the cool things that we found is from our conservation researcher, Dr. Arnaud Debier, that we work with, he has videos of wild anteaters um, taking baths in, in mud pools and right in streams. And so you guys kind of simulate that here. Um, do both of the anteaters like getting in the bath? They do both like the bathtub. Um, our male Nico will go in the bathtub or the tubs on habitat. Our female Zola only prefers to take her baths in the night house. Um, so that's a funny difference between the two of them. So if you see one out on habitat, it's most likely Nico yeah. playing around and they'll actually spend some time in there. They do. Um, they use their really long, sharp front claws to actually groom um, the hair. And so they'll get all of the mud and kind of scratch and itch and um, take a bathtub just like people take a bathtub and lots of other animals. Well, this was really exciting to be able to see and to be able to learn about. So thank you, Laura. And if you guys would like any more information about anteaters or any other animal we have here at the zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and take a look at them there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you.